Hello everybody, I'm Hank's DSL. Hi, hello, love. Uh, yes, the the uh, this is a picture of my printer. This is a Dow. This is actually a low res picture of my printer because I just took the thumbnail from Google Images because fuck it. Um, this is a Dow 514E. Um, you can see it in uh, in its grandios oh, uh, by uh, by looking over here. Look, see that there? Is that there? Look, there? Look, 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 look. there you go. That's it. Okay. Um, in this picture. It is, uh, it is very fuzzy, so you can't really see it, but you will see a lot of dust on it. There's a lot of dust on it because it never gets used, um, and I should dust it more, and I'm, I'm ashamed of not dusting it. I nearly never showed this picture. I was nearly going to dust it first, but I thought, no, let's be real. Um, anyway, I, uh, I, I don't use it because it's a Dell 514W, which is Wi-Fi. It's an E5, W514E. It's a Dell 514 something, right? And this is a printer that has been pissing me off since I've had it. Yeah, my father gave it to me a long time ago, right? Because uh, he was like, I don't want this. <laughs> I was like, okay, it came with your computer. All right, I'll use it. Great. Right. Uh, and I tried setting it with cups, and it's consistently been a total wanker. Um, it basically, you'll set it up in cups, and then cups won't detect it, and you'll you'll do all the tutorials and make it work. And then the next time you get to print it, it'll be like, nah. <laughs> that was just like, nah. Right. Uh, to the point where I gave up. Briefly, I was using a Windows PC that my daughter uses, and I was using it as a print server to print to it. And that worked fine until that just shit itself as well. And part of the problem is that Cups is a wanker. Like, like it's a fucking wanker. Um, and that was nice. And part of the problem is the printer is a wanker, right? So I gave up on it. I just was like, I was like, I was like, done, gone. I don't know what that background is. Let's get a new background. Um, so I've not been using this printer very much. It's been, I keep it plugged in because sometimes I have forms and like live stuff. So I don't need to fill out a form or something and I need to print it out and, you know, and it's got a scanner, which is kind of useful. Um, but I just, fuck, just, I just hate it so much, right? Oh, salsa. Um, I just hate it so much. So you can imagine my surprise when I read this tutorial on the internet, which talked about using Netcat uh, instead of, uh, instead of, um, instead of cups. So basically you just print the shit straight to the printer. And I was like, that sounds great. Oh, that's nice. Persuader. I like it. Um, that's nice. Let's try it. So uh, I thought, hey, let's uh, let's get a picture of Kevin Lloyd, the actor who played Tosh Lyons in The Bill. I don't know why, right? Because I don't like The Bill. I'm not a big fan of The Bill, right? It's an English TV show about policemen. It's, it's shit. But when I was a kid, I was fascinated by his mustache. So I've just kept a picture of him around for years. I don't know why. It's really low res. That's how long I've had it. Back when I had it, this was considered large. Anyway. So I thought let's 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 use Tosh Lyons. Let's use uh, Tosh Lyons as my example here. So I'm in a little script which I'll show you shortly called Dow Image, right? Uh, and I just does like Kevin Lloyd PNG. I've not actually tried this with this picture. It's probably going horribly wrong. And then I just wait. It's not fast. My printer just clicked. So it means something's happening. It's, it's, it's now whirring up because it's shit. And now it's making the big noise. It's like, and there it is. There it is. Look at it! Look at that! Look at that! It's 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 him in it. Yeah. Now I've got a picture of that. I might put that on my wall. I don't even know why. His mustache was just so fucking entertaining when I was a kid. Look, he's me basically. Look, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, and that's possible. And also, you'll notice the script then fucking crashes because whatever. But it's not the point. The point is, I can send anything I want to my printer. I've got a script for text. I just go Dal and then the default name for text. Um. And I can doubt image if it's an image, but there's no reason I couldn't just figure something smarter out to it. Someone write that for me. I can't be bothered. Um, but yeah, uh, it's cool. And it's just his Netcat, which is a standard Linux library. It's just on your machine, probably. Just just, just, just do this in terminal. Just, just NC. There you go. And if you get a command line, it's installed. That's it. Um, there you go. Uh, and how do we do this? Let's have a look at how we do this. And again, it's not me. This is something that someone posted on Hacker News. Like, was it Hacker News? I, I, someone sent me a link for it, basically, for like two weeks ago. Someone was talking about how in BSD in the BSD manual, it's like you could use oh, it couldn't this like cups or just use Netcat, like offhand remark. And then he was like, Does that work? And then he went to it, and yeah, and then, and then I'm now telling you, so it's not like it's my information, but I don't, I know I did all the research, it's all me. And then Archie today, uh, who's a user in Discord, who sent me that cool book, by the way, um, sent me uh, yeah, it was like, Hey, you could use uh, you convert to fix this problem, so let's go through the process here. So, um, the first thing we've got to look at is the DAL command. Uh, which I'll actually open in Vim uh, because that would be the smart thing to do. Um, there's the down command. Look, look, you can see here, right? All we've, you know, we can probably get rid of that now, can't we? All we've got here is one line, and all we've got is it could be an alias, to be honest. We've got netcat, then the ID, then the printer's IP address, and then port nine one hundred, which I'm told is the standard port 
for a printer. That's the port printers use. Uh, and then I'm just inputting that, just whatever I put in. So whatever variable, whatever I add to the end of this file. So if I, uh, if I, uh, if I type dal dog bog dot txt, it'll just print bog dot txt. -t, right. That that's all that command does. I've got another one again, very simple one liner. Right. Right. Dal image. And this uses the convert command. It converts whatever input. So if I just give it a, a so if I write dal image and then a, an image name, it then converts that. In. This is the, the wildcard that this takes that input, so input one. So convert input one to a PDF and then just pipe that into Netcat into this port. That is it. And what the downside is, it'll always give you a full page. So the formatting is not a problem. I've tested it as well. That's that one. I also printed my boy Jagote. Because uh, he's a goat, right? Um, and I also pictured this picture of this young lady who is a musician, uh, Jesse, Jesse Fire, Fryer, Fry. I don't know. Anyway, point is, I've tested a bunch of stuff. The downside is, it takes the image and just puts it the maximum size of the page. It just it just scales it to the maximum size size of the paper, right? Um, which is fine of the kind of things I print, to be honest. Because if you print a PDF and it's an actual PDF, um, it's probably almost definitely gonna be A4. Right, or if not, you want it scaled to A4. And if it's an image, you probably want an A4. And for me, like I said, I've got a shitty laser printer, like a shitty mono laser printer. Right, all I want this for is printing text, basically, and the occasional image for funsies. Um, obviously, I've got no quality controls whatsoever, so I just whatever it just comes out in eco. I think eco is the default. I can probably change that on the printer settings. I don't know. Um, and that's it. That is literally everything I've got. You know, uh, what I'd like to do is get a script um, or a little a little program. So I just like to go print. And then like print this and then like the name of the file and it just goes oh, that's an image i'll do this oh, it's a, you know like a little bit of sense maybe we should add to that but again if you want to write that send it to me hexdsl at postio.net um because i can't be fucked um yeah I'll probably because i've got all good intentions i know how to do it but i'm never gonna get around to it but yeah like being able to use my fucking printer again like is amazing it's just like mind blown look it's just mind blown um Let's just go there. That's the printer's got that PX out, right? So let's, we can go Dal image, right? PX out. What is it? PX out. It's the one that without the MP, isn't it? Uh, there you go. That one. That one? Yeah, that one. Let's just, let's just print a picture of the printer with the printer. That'd be great. Look, we just do that. It's just, it's just, I'm so happy. Genuinely thrilled that my printer's now working. Because I was, when I first found this, I was like, oh, it's great for text, but it's no good for images. So I'll have to use Windows PC for PDFs. Nope. Absolutely fucking fine, as it turns out. Um, now noticing that that's not I've, I've actually that's the wrong image that's the wrong one as well I'm sending the wrong one I'm set I'm actually sending look, I've sent the one that ends in it's got MP in it look and that's that's this one I'm actually I'm actually MP dot J I'm actually sending a five meg image not a two NTK image to to the printer so I mean lights come on so. <laughs> It's going to print eventually. It's not fast, guys. There's no spalling good on here. There's no converting good on here. There are downsides, as I'm currently illustrating. One day, <laughs> I know that print. It's not even like you can go, oh, it's still sending it, because it just doesn't do sh fuck all, does it? It's just it's awful. Um, Yeah, hindsight. Shouldn't have bothered with that. Maybe check your image sizes, guys, and things. That's, that image was, again, five megs into that long. Oh, well. It's still work in progress. You can figure it out. Fix it. You'll be fine. Point is, you can do it. Works perfectly with text. Print out loads of text. Works flawlessly with text, which is great. Uh, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because that's, I've got to go and figure out how to, how to, how to cancel something from that. Should I try it again? Should I try to give you another one? Uh, is that one? Like the one? That one's the one I actually wanted to send. Look, oh, it's, it's just, it's probably still printing the first one now. I don't, not fast. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching. I've been Hank's DSL. Super excited about this. It's been fun.